this? <laughs> Unbelievable. Diana invited me um, back to her place for dessert. I was like, man, I feel, um, I feel honored. Cheers. Diana is definitely marriage material, and I can say that without hesitation. So I'm curious to know what it would be like at your hometown. I have a feeling that that's where I have an advantage. I think you're going to see that there's going to be a lot of the same values, a lot of the same beliefs mm -hmm. that you have. I mean, gosh, my, my mom and my dad, they live one street over from me. Oh, wow. I did that on purpose. I feel like if you were to come to my hometown, I think the process is finished. Sean and I have a lot of things in common. We feel the same way about family. I think that Sean is a lot to offer. If I were giving roses out on dates this week, Sean would definitely have a rose at the end of tonight's date. You know, I mean, knowing what you want to get out of this would definitely help, um, I guess, where my feelings would be, you know? I want to end up with the man that I am crazy passionate about to where every day I'm happy waking up next to him. I want that guy who fits perfectly in my family. I know that my husband is here. Really? Mm -hmm. I just say you are exactly what I need in my life. You, you are like the missing piece to this jigsaw puzzle of my life, you know? I can't predict the future and I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't say that, you know, for sure what's going to happen. But I can say that I'm definitely the type of man that's willing to take that risk and to put all of my heart and soul into it. I've put it out there, you know, and it's, uh, it's up to Deanna to choose whether or not this is something she wants. It was a wonderful day. I'm glad that you enjoyed yourself. I have to tell you, though, it was tough. Why? It's tough, it's tough when you see everybody else like getting an opportunity to have like one-on-one -on -one dates you know it's like it's all right hang tough Aww. wait your time you know it was tough that was tough it was a good night because i've gotten to know a lot of the other guys and at the last minute i got to know you really mm -hmm. that's exactly how i felt i needed tonight so that we could get to know each other you know really mm -hmm. it's your baby You're welcome. I had a great time. Me too. Tonight with Diana, I'm gonna be honest, it was uh, it was about as romantic as it gets. I think tonight was in my favor as far as moving on to the final four and her coming to my hometown. If Diana's looking for a proposal at the end, I think that I'm the man that can give it to her. Coming up. It's high adventure in the high desert. But will Twilly ruin his chance at love? Doing something wrong here? And then... Oh, my <laughs> God. This was Frank Sinatra's house. This is so awesome. It's a romantic trip into the past until the singing starts. Someday, Someday I, will I will feel a glow, glow just thinking of you. And the way you <laughs> look tonight. Morning! Oh! How are y'all? Half of these guys have been cooped up in the outhouse the entire time they've been here, so today is the time for them to let loose and get wild. How's um, Palm Springs? You feeling all right? Yeah, I feel great. I'm ready to go. What are we doing? Hello? <laughs> That helicopter lands right here, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though. Looks like our ride's here. Oh, oh my god! My god. Look at that. Go rad! Are you kidding me? I knew oh. oh my god! Billy and I are gonna go. You guys are gonna wait. Your helicopter will be here shortly to pick you up. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> Alright, so how do I open the door for a girl in the helicopter? Um, I don't know. Let's see if I can figure it out. Watch this. Twilly's gonna break it. He's gonna break it. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Oh, 
Wait, you guys got left. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. The last chance I talked to Deanna, the last time we had any one-on-one time, I, I kind of expressed a lot of concerns I had about finding a connection with her and, and not having enough time to do that. And she told me to hang in there. Now we can spend some good time together. Yeah, it's always when we're traveling. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish I was in the helicopter with her right now. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I think the helicopter ride between Twilly and Deanna is gonna be awful because Twilly gets really bad motion sickness and a helicopter is not gonna be the easiest place to be intimate and romantic with uh, a girl that you've been wanting one-on-one -on -one time with for a very long time. Are you okay? Or you're doing something real dumb. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm all right. You make me nervous. No, 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 I'm fine. Just my ears. Okay. It's a balance oh, issue. Lord. The helicopter ride was good up until Twilly started getting motion sickness, and I was afraid that he was going to puke on my lap. <laughs> but other than that, it was great. Well, doing something wrong here. I really think somebody wants me to throw up on Deanna, and that's like this big, big conspiracy that's going on. Uh. <laughs> All right, we're in the middle of the desert. I thought maybe we were looking for Jimmy Hoffa's body, or, you know, maybe there was like some hidden treasure she knew about. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, yeah. we're going four-wheeling. Thanks, Jesse. Deanna's always said, oh, yeah, I'm down to get dirty. But when she stepped up today and we're in, like, a sandstorm of 50-mile-an-hour winds, <laughs> put a smile on her face, that was hot. You want to see how it's done? Right, right, right. Oh. All right, let's go. off on the ATVs and Diana was kicking on her butts. I mean, she had no fear. And you could tell Diana was in her element. Riding four-wheelers is a part of my life. This is what we do back home. I am hoping that the guys just cut loose. Jesse is definitely having the most fun on the ATVs today. I was showing off a little bit to Diana today, teaching her how to do wheelies. Oh, me, dog. Uh oh. All right, man. Do you want this? Interesting. Uh oh. Sean, let's have a great night. Oh. Sorry, man. <laughs> Jeremy, let's take a step back in time with old blue eyes. Tonight on the one on one, I'm hoping that Deanna really opens up to me. I want to feel that, you know, I'm the type of guy she's really looking for. That sounds like it's going to be. Uh, Quite a uh, romantic evening. I don't know, man. It's going to be tough to be on a mountaintop with a little dinner. I just have to bring her better company. <laughs> <laughs> ride was so much fun. It was funny to see which guys were keeping up with me, which guys were tailing behind. Willie was in his own little world on the four-wheelers, just playing by himself. All day. Jason took it kind of easy. He's just very straight-laced. He just rode it one straight way. Jesse's so attractive because he wasn't scared. Like, he manhandled that four-wheeler. Today was almost like the first day that I thought he was just hot. <laughs> the more that I get to know him, the more that I like him. Hey, um, this is fun, but what do you say we go back and pull off? All right, so Yeah? Good. Yeah. Okay. Come on, man. Seriously. Let's go. Come on. Up next. <laughs> it's all 
fun and games <laughs> until Graham steals Deanna. I'm sorry, do you really not see the connection between Graham and Deanna? Okay, so you're saying Graham's a sure bet. Graham is okay. sure bet. She doesn't have that connection that she's got with Graham with anybody. And then... Hello? Where's she at? Something goes very wrong at the cocktail party. It seems a little odd with her not greeting us. You think she's just not ready? How, how does that work? Every time we roll in, she's sitting on the couch. 